Hi, I'm Katie, and this is your Galco Industry News Update. This week, we'll be talking about exoskeletons for workers, robots teaching other robots, and autonomous robot 3D printers. The Home Improvement Store Lowe's is outfitting employees with an exoskeleton to help them on the job. The suit was designed by Lowe's internal research facility, the Innovation Labs, and in partnership with Virginia Tech's Assistive Robotic Laboratory. The exoskeleton is designed to make lifting and moving heavy objects easier. They are worn like a harness with carbon fiber rods acting as artificial tendons, bending when the wearer squats and springing back when they stand up. Lowe's has issued four of the custom-built suits to employees at a store in Christiansburg, Virginia. The equipment has been in use for over a month and the company says early feedback is extremely positive. Lowe's Exo suits are for now just a test to see if they will in fact aid the average worker and relieve some of the more menial and physical aspects of their job. But Lowe's isn't the only company looking to extend or preserve the well-being of its employees using assistive technology. Companies such as Exobionics and SuitX are building lightweight exoskeletons that they and others are turning into a commercial industry. Asian technology firms including Hyundai and Panasonic are working on suits to extend the abilities of the human body. In Japan, the need for assistive robotics is partially driven by the country's aging population and a desire to keep people working as efficiently as they can for as long as possible. Researchers at MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligent Lab have figured out a new system that allows non-experts to teach robots how to do simple behaviors, including opening doors and moving things around. The system aims to mimic how humans learn and even allows robots to teach what they've learned to other robots. First, the robots are taught a series of basic motions, like how to be parallel to an axis or how to move in a plane. Then an operator gives them instructions for a specific task by moving a 3D model of the robot about on screen. The software called C-Learn does the rest, applying the correct movements from its library of motions. Using this method, researchers were able to teach robots to perform tasks with just a single demonstration. The key to the system's success is that it combines demonstration with an existing knowledge base provided prior to training. These result in high degrees of accuracy in accomplishing the demonstrated task, which are then translated to subsequent teaching to other robots. The C-Learn system is far from perfect, but the research is promising and provides an interesting, cost-effective opportunity for how we'll train robots in the future. And could autonomous robot 3D printers help build homes for us on other planets? Well, the MIT team thinks so. MIT's newest 3D printer with long robotic arms and a caterpillar tread is designed to work in the construction sites of the future. MIT's robot has a giant hydraulic arm that moves around on caterpillar treads. On the end of the arm is a one-fingered hand attachment, which can move more freely and is responsible for fine motor tasks. It can be fitted with a range of different tools, including a foam insulation gun, a welding attachment, a thermoplastic extruder that squirts out melted plastic, or even a simple bucket. The MIT team stuck a foam insulation gun in the robot's hand and placed the robot in an empty lot in Mountain View, California. Over the next two days, the robot built something similar to an open-top igloo using expanding foam that sets in just 30 seconds. The final structure was 12 feet high with a diameter of nearly 50 feet. If this had been an actual construction project, the foam would have been used as a mold for concrete. Experts say there's still a lot of room for improvement with the platform, but others are more excited about putting the new robot to work. The team has already been getting calls from NASA, the U.S. military, and Google. 
Eventually, the MIT researchers hope that automating construction and 3D printing buildings will keep construction workers safer, cut costs, and make the timing of construction projects more predictable. That's it for this week's industry update. Make sure you stay tuned next week for more news in electronics, automation, and robotics.